What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic. I wanted to do a build with uh, Logic again because I hadn't done one of those in a while and I just felt like doing this one a long time ago but I never really actually got around to doing it. And so I really sat down tonight and said, you know what? It's time we make Etch and Sketch. It's not a very big one. It's only 30 by 20. Um, that already, I don't actually have an official gate count. And already, if you look at it with the weld tool, it kind of lags the game. Or if you look at it with the, uh, with the lift, it kind of lags it a little bit as well. But it's really simple to use. Um, one, two, three, and four are the directions. So one goes left, two goes up, three goes right, and four goes down. Uh, five is our cursor reset. So it'll clear the board, but keep the cursor in the same spot, if that makes sense. Uh, and then six is the master reset, which in case if you pulse the directions too quickly back and forth, you might need to use the master reset and uh, it'll reset the cursor back to the top left like it does and it clears the whole board. But basically you can just kind of, you know, draw some stuff. You can hold the button and it will hold the signal. Um, sometimes holding it can cause it to flicker, but it doesn't happen very often. You can see there is a little bit of a time delay there, which kind of prevents that from happening. So generally I'm pretty terrible at drawing stuff. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and see if we can draw some here. So we're gonna hit five and you see that'll reset the board left. I'm just tabbing it because I don't I don't wanna hold it because uh, I don't wanna accidentally overshoot the spiral. Okay, and, and I accidentally pressed the wrong controls a fair amount. I wish you could really color the buttons in the, I'm sure there's a mod for that, but up, up, up. Okay, left. And down. I'm honestly really, really slow at this. And I'm sure someone's gonna come along and be like, oh, I made a 300 by 300 etch and sketch and it's awesome. So there are a few things built into this one. Uh, for example, if you spawn it on the lift, there are a bunch of memories bits that run the display and normally they pulse, but there is an automatic reset built into it. So when you spawn it on the lift, it won't cause you to have a seizure. Um, you can actually spawn it on the lift and the board will clear right away and, and hit that reset button and basically send it to the master reset position. So you can literally, once you spawn it, you can just jump in the chair and uh, start drawing. There isn't any like seat really, it's just a seat, I guess. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this build. Uh, definitely gonna put it on the workshop. Definitely didn't center that spiral very well. We are working our way outwards. Man, that looks so cool. We're gonna just go here to the left and then go up and just make some sort of crazy non-touching grid type pattern. And then I think we go left here and then down and then right and then down. It's like some really long snake or something. Again, I'm terrible at drawing and uh, I know people with the etch and sketch can do 3D stuff. You are kind of limited here. This is pixel art, but uh, oh no, I'm gonna trap in the, oh, oh well, we're gonna, we're gonna touch the wall here, guys. Sorry, that's the way it is. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, if someone can draw something much, much better, send me a screenshot or like, you know, tweet it to me or whatever you wanna do, but Send me a screenshot if you if you draw something better because I'm absolutely terrible at this. I'm sure someone can do something better and uh, I really challenge you to do it. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this build. Um, it was a relatively quick build. I, I built the whole thing up actually in just the one night and uh, I kind of rushed to put this video out because I really, really got excited when I got this thing built up. So there we go. We've got the etch and sketch just completely. Now, of course, if you do pick it up, it will reset, but that's pretty cool. I like that pattern. Um, what started out as a failed spiral kind of turned into this cool little snake thing. But of course we could hit five and do the cursor reset. Now we're still at that end cursor position or we could hit six and put it back in the start position. So again, if you, if you just tap the buttons, it, uh, it'll never glitch. It, it's designed in such a way that as long as you don't tap like back and forth, like if you tap left, right, left, right, like as fast as you can, yeah, it's going to glitch. But if I keep tapping the one button, there is a little bit of a time delay there to prevent sort of spamming of the same command. But if you tap like the left and right at the same time, then yeah, it's going to freak out because it's going to try and go in both directions. Um, and again, there is a timer there that kind of helps with that. But uh, overall, it does require a little bit of sort of... Um, user awareness but i'm pretty happy with it the amount of times it glitches is really not that bad and a lot of the time because you're not drawing anything big when i do have it glitch you know you just kind of redraw what you're doing so we're gonna try and make a giant k here all right we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go like this and try and like beef up this section here like so my proportions are absolutely horrible Oh no, I went the wrong way. Dang it. 
All right, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit quicker at doing this. Uh, again, I do like to take my time, especially when you're going through these sections where you've already gone over it, because you have to make sure you don't uh, forget where the cursor is. All right, so we're gonna do like this, and like this, and like this, and boom. I guess I could have probably maybe spelt con as a full word. Oh dang, I really suck at this, guys. Just sort of tapping the button, just letting it tap, and then waiting for it to, you know, sort of appear. I mean, you can go at a pretty decent pace, you can see, but uh, I just want to make sure I get no no sorts of issues or anything like that. All right, con. Oh, that a little lower than uh, I kind of wanted, but that's okay. All right, so we're there. So one, two, three, four. Down one, two. Th oh no, I screwed it up. I'm always so hesitant when a new direction comes up because it's like, wait, what's the right button? Now it is one, two, three, four, so it is kind of mapped nicely for my my uh, Razer Hex mouse. See, now we're we're drawing it a lot smarter this time, so it'll actually be a lot easier at the very end here. No counting. That's the only thing I wish. Uh, I probably should have put in a blinker to let you know where the cursor was. That would have been smart. I didn't actually think of it until now. Um, maybe I'll come up with Edge and Sketch 2.0 that'll be bigger and have a blinker to indicate where the cursor is. I hope you guys like this video. I really hope you like this Etch a Sketch. I will put it up on the workshop. Um, it'll be up actually right after this video, so go check that out. And uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I really, really appreciate that. Hit that like button too while you're at it. It's kind of awesome. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.